So this is from an old project I started with the owner of this business. Uh, he hired me on to do the AC in this place. I was here when the electrician redid all this. He made some mistakes, but this whole panel was supposed to be just all my LG big, the big equipment out, outside. And, uh, but another electrician came in and he hooked up some components that make uh, voltage spikes because they were on contactors and motors and they weren't supposed to be on anything that has data. Uh, my son installed these. These are industrial size surge protection for commercial. And it actually, uh, you can't see it. Let's see if it'll go in there. Let's see, can you see that? Ah, oh, there you go, you can see the numbers. It counts the voltage spikes that hit the building and hit the panel that can damage your equipment. And we installed another one over here. Now this is 277 volts, 480 volts. And this is 120, 208, and 240 volt system, all, all this here. Uh, I have another one I need to install just for one unit that uh, when the other electrical contractor came here, he wired this up wrong and he wired, um, this is a three phase panel and he put split phase, single phase on there and he was actually breaking breaking the neutral. I don't know what the hell that guy was doing, but he caused a bunch of problems. And on one of my heads, I think it was this one right here. This was mine, uh, roof compressor. No, he moved it, we moved it. I think we moved it over here. Yeah, this is the one what, uh, why do they have it like this? Okay, he's doing some funky stuff again. Uh, but I needed 208. And what the electrician did was put one of my air handlers. They have circuit boards in them that are voltage spike sensitive. And he moved it over on this panel. And he rewired that there. And as soon as he did that, something he did with a ground loop or something started burning out the circuit boards and motors on one air handler. Just one air handler. And it was the one that was in this panel. Not the ones that were, these were okay, these were protected here. But he had this one, and before I figured it out, after the third motor, two motors at a time, and um, circuit breakers, I go, you know, something's wrong here. And I started following my wire back. And they didn't tell me that they did other wiring in here at first. And then I started asking questions. And that's when I started tracing all this wiring back out. And I came all the way down and found that what he did here and he put some uh, motors that were on contactors lights that are on contactors or were arcing off and on off and on. it was blowing out my panels and i got really pissed off i told him your electrician has an electrician kept swearing up and down he didn't do nothing wrong and so what i ended up doing was i disconnected his wires that he had my panel in here and remember this is like four years five years five years after the system was up and running perfectly and only after electrician came in and rewired this panel behind me and a few other things. Oh, he burnt out some other motors and he did a whole bunch of shit in here. I had to go redo. And I'm not an electrician. I always, I like to say I'm a tire rotation and lube boy. And uh, why am I fixing your stuff? And so uh, I got an extension cord, a hundred foot extension cord. And I put the circuit breaker back in here. Oh yeah, I temporarily did it. And I had my extension cord with 208 volts, 208 volts. I had it hooked up in here and I had an extension cord going all the way out through those doors, underneath the door, into the room where I had, I disconnected where my line came up in here out of my circuit box. And I put that extension cord and I wired it up and we left it there for like two weeks. It worked just fine. So why can't an automotive guy who just changes oil and rotates tires, figure out something electrical contractor is supposed to do. And uh, on this one, what was the other one? Oh yeah, he wired up, had a problem with the Tesla wire up he did. He, uh, there's a Tesla charge, he put a Tesla charger in and it was blowing circuit breakers and wasn't working. And when I went over there, what he did was he took one wire out here, it's supposed to be on 240, so it has like these, two right here you see the little bar right in there if one pops it's supposed to pop two so you don't single leg it and only get half the voltage because on some things you could damage them and what he did was he put one wire here 
and one wire like way up on another one so he can find his 240 volts and it was single legging and causing problems with the tesla charger so then i fixed that then i went to the, the lighting was the last thing he did something with the lighting i had it at 208 he went to another circuit box and he changed some wiring he accidentally put not these lightings but i put in some uh led lightings that are all on the rest of the house me and my son he put 277 to them and damaged a bunch of those and uh, they got another electrician and <laughs> so now the other electrician is doing some stuff and i'm making sure i have to ask him i have to get a hold of him make sure he doesn't change any of my stuff that is voltage spike sensitive to anything with motors nothing can have motors on it that make or break contacts because we were talking about circuit boards that are sensitive and that's exactly why I have this here to protect everything to do with my equipment and electricians not to touch any of my stuff and say, oh, I need some of these circuits. They're empty. Let me put some of my stuff over there. This is my panel. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll see you later. And this is the kind of stuff I have to go through. Oh, yeah, that's right. When you go to like HVAC, you're also you get into electrician to have electrical classes. Take the time out and take some electrical classes. I did the electrical engineering over at City College and in Skyline they have the contractor electrical classes. So just don't take HVAC classes. Take some electrician classes too. So you're not like these guys who have electrical contractors license who keep messing up stuff and the lube boy has to come out and fix it. See you guys.